we have three or four high rises that are going up that are all luxury. This is Anthony Roberts, and he lives in the heart of downtown Fort Myers. He tells me being surrounded by the buildings that are higher end, along with high rise, the need for homes for more people who live nearby is critical. And there's plenty of buildings down here that people can no longer afford to live in. An issue developer from the other side of the state, former longtime NFL player in Miami native Jonathan Vilma says he's paying attention to and why that this is his plan to develop the land. Whole purpose is to be able to provide housing for the natives that are currently living here. It's really the people that need the housing that are calling the housing authority saying they have no place to stay because the rents are too high. With a 5-2 vote, the council agreed going to against a plan for luxury high rises and instead improving Vilma's $11 million, 614 unit multifamily complex, a hundred of which will classify it as affordable housing. Mayor Kevin Anderson was one who voted no, saying in this earlier interview that his focus is on what this first plan for Midtown represents. The first major development of that piece of land for Midtown we need to set a standard that's high so the rest of Midtown is developed properly. You know, rent is crazy expensive no matter where you go to now. Ryan Williams lived in Lee County his entire life and says when considering the two, he thinks the council did make the right choice. I mean, there's enough high rises along the river here that if people want to want that kind of view, that there's places for them.